Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're talking about our back-to-back -back games Man United played against Leeds. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Come on. Now, Man United played back-to-back -back games against Leeds. First game was a 2-2 draw, and the second ending in a 2-0 victory for Manchester United. Me and Cappy are going to speak about the key aspects from both in our opinion. But before we get into all the that, seeing as we kind of had an episode off, let's get to the question of the day. those who don't know about QOD, we're going to provide you a question at the start of the episode right now and you are going to have up until the end of this episode to answer it. So be sure to get your browsers up and running. Be sure to get your noggins working. And here it is, people. Now on Thursday, this will be the first time both teams have met in the Europa League and it will be the 14th and 15th occasion in Europe as well. Mm. But can you name the date of Manchester United and Barcelona's very first in the Champions League? The Champions! <laughs> but yes, ladies and gentlemen, as we said before, be sure to get your answers in before the end of the episode and we shall see who gets it correct. The first game on Wednesday the 8th. February almost caught me off guard because I underestimated the opponent somewhat, especially on a watch along. They had sacked Jesse Marsh not long ago, still in the process of looking for a new manager, which didn't change in the second game either, by the way. I thought they would have been a deflated team, especially with their run of form. It was nothing like that at all, Cappy. I mean, the way they started may have helped, but my word. What a poor start from the home team, man. Man United giving the ball away and as Nonto receives the ball from a 1-2, we didn't close down the ball quick enough and a strike from outside the box was sweetly struck. Just like that, you allow Leeds to instantly become comfortable, which is not ideal in a derby match. Instead, we seem like the away side. In the second half, it was crucial that Manchester United started strong and looked to get back into the game as soon as possible. No. A Rafael Varane on goal ensured that it didn't end up that way. When you look at the quality we possessed on ball, it just was far from the level we have been able to see at times this season, which to be fair is something that I've continuously expected. When you look at how we've performed over the last few years with the inconsistencies and struggles to jump over hurdles, when it matters most especially, there is always a bit of doubt when we're dragged into these type of games. But we were able to answer the question of if we could get back into the game. It all started with a couple of substitutions in Jaden Sancho and Facundo Pellistri. What also can't be overlooked in recent weeks is the tactical decision to put Marcus Rashford up top in order to have a different option. Trust me when I say it's worked. Marcus gets us back in the game and another person who is key to our comeback, Jaden Sancho, also shun his directness in wide areas, always looking to engage and all the lead defenders wanted to do was reverse, backpedal mm. FC. It was only a matter of time before he impacted the game further when the ball fortuitously fell to him after a Luke Shaw cross. Maybe Melier could have done better, but do we care? Yeah, mm -mm, nah. mm -mm, mm -mm. There were chances to win the game also. Varane, in my opinion, had the best from a header that was tipped over the bar. Sabitzer in the first half had an effort saved from outside the box. Negatives and positive signs overall with the first game ending in a draw. But as long as we continue to learn, I'll take it. Going into Sunday, Manchester United needed to get back to winning ways. Drop points against Arsenal and Crystal Palace, who we also played twice recently with a few games in between. At Ellen Road, if they played anywhere near the level they did at OT, it was going to be a difficult task. 
Facts. This felt like a separate game within itself though. The atmosphere was electric CM. Leeds United continued with their high tempo, mash mouth football and Manchester United somewhat matched that. We lost the midfield battle in the first game, but this was different. We at least matched them in terms of energy and physicality and sometimes that's all that matters in a game. Of course, in a perfect world, you would like to hold on to the ball and dictate the tempo of the game because you concede fewer chances. But that's not where we are right now. Let me know if you feel the same in the comments also. Somerville for Leeds had some great chances in the first and second half. Trust me when I say this could have been a completely different result. But we rolled the luck and everything fell into place at the right time. Two games, two headers from Marcus Rashford. Shout out to Benny McCarthy, man. I mean, shout out to Marcus and, and all the coaches. But big up Benny once again because you can see they're clearly working and developing on the skills of many players on the team, to be fair. Mm -hmm. But the development in that department for Marcus has once again been a joy to see. What was equally as joyful to see was Alejandro Garnacho coming off the bench to seal the victory. In a week where he faced... Heavy criticism, some constructive, some completely unnecessary if you know you know. Whatever you think of the young man, he goes out there without fear and looks to prove a point and that will take you a long way on the field of play. If you saw the way CM reacted to the goal during the watch along, you could only imagine how I did. Three points secured. More lessons learned and hopefully some confidence gained going into Thursday's massive match against Barcelona at Ninu Camp. Two legs. Let's see if we can get it done in the first. <sighs> you know, whenever we reach this stage of the episode, it's kind of bittersweet because we know it's coming to an end. But we also know it's not over. And for that reason, it's time for the Question of the Day. That was me. Shut up. To the editor, my good sir, could you please roll the clip? Now on Thursday, this will be the first time both teams have met in the Europa League and it will be the 14th and 15th occasion in Europe as well. Mm. But can you name the date of Manchester United and Barcelona's very first in the Champions League? If you talk here, like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, you respect the tweet now. Back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat. Question, question, time. question time! Question time! So... How did everybody fare in this episode's question of the day? It's been a long time coming and here is the answer. Let's go! Manchester United and Barcelona's first meeting in the Champions League came on the 19th of October 1994 in a 2-2 draw. Mark Hughes and Lee Sharp scored on either side of Barca's two goals scored by Romario and Jose Marie Baquero. So, if you got the answer correct based off your muscle memory, slap a one in the chat. If you use Google, slap a two in the chat. And don't be ashamed to use Google. Trust us. But if you didn't... If you didn't even bother to answer this question once again. And I don't know why I need to be saying this every week. I might just give it to CM instead. But slap a three if you didn't even bother asking the question. But next week. Next week. This, this, is, a, this is a visual handshake. A visual handshake. And a promise that you will answer the question no matter what. This is non-negotiable now. You're locked into this agreement. <clears throat> there will be repercussions if you break the agreement and the contract. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to everybody who reached the end of this episode. Please be sure to hit a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and frenemies. The Stay United Watch Along with CM will be back on Thursday, 5.30 p.m. for the Barcelona game. It's going to be a big one. Return mm. to Europe settings as well. And I believe today, the champions is starting back too. We're not involved. Well, 
Hopefully, maybe next season, who knows? Who knows? But right now, we're in the Europa League, another competition to potentially win, potentially go far in, and there's still a lot of that competition to go. So we shall see, ladies and gentlemen. But once again, I hope everybody has a wonderful end to their day. Maybe start to their day before... It depends when they're watching the episode. What's that? But ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you lot soon. Bitch!